Did you know at 10.8.1 that ArcGIS Workflow Manager is releasing the first version of our web-centric service-based architecture? That's right, your favorite enterprise workflow management system for automating repetitive manual work in GIS and non-GIS workflows has been reimagined and is heading out the door. What is it? It's a new independent server integrated with ArcGIS Enterprise delivering new workflow services to a new COTS web application, a new Pro extension, and new modern APIs for all your customization needs. Why make this move? Well, workflows are changing. Organizations need new tools to manage repeatable enterprise processes that span any combination of web, desktop, and mobile use cases. Our mission, and we chose to accept it, is to create seamless workflow experiences across Esri and non-Esri products, no matter what an organization is trying to do. So at 10.8.1, we will release our first phase of technology focused on a fast and easy to use online system for application submissions and reviews that ultimately is the first step on the road to larger GIS and non-GIS enterprise workflows. The Arizona National Guard has partnered with us and is using this technology to create an environmental review process. But this tech can be used in lots of different applications like permitting, address change management, and data contribution workflows. Submitters, known as proponents, access our new work page to find, filter, and work on any existing submissions they've made, or they can create a new one like this. They are then guided step-by-step by, step by Workflow Manager through an easy-to-use TurboTax style interface where they are presented with small pieces of their submission to complete one at a time with a friendly prompt to do things like update the submission details, answer questions that guide the workflow, Define the review's location by drawing or selecting on a predefined web map. Attach supporting documents to their application. And along the way, they receive automated status emails notifying them of their progress. All these steps are guided by the workflow, the results stored in the workflow database, and the actions recorded as a traceable history of the job's progress, all with no programming. The whole process is set up by the workflow administrator who builds workflows by simply dragging steps from the step library and arranging and rearranging as necessary in the order they want. Similar in style to Model Builder, each step defines a certain action the apps will perform when it is run, like prompt the user with a question. And we have new capabilities, like once that submission is complete, it's passed to a group of reviewers. And in the next generation of Workflow Manager, that review process can be easily split across multiple reviewers at the same time. That's right, they can work on it independently in parallel, provide their response, and lead it through to a decision point as whether that submission is accepted or rejected. And this is just the start. New types of steps will be added to this library all the time for things like creating a workforce assignment or survey one, two, three survey, running a pro add-in, running data quality checks on feature services, adding holds, managing versions, and so many more steps are on the horizon. Also, if you want to monitor the status of many jobs, you can use our coordinate page, which lets you search, visualize, and explore the jobs in the system. Want to change the priority or due date based on something you see? No problem. Want to restrict editing access? No problem. The app uses a system of application level privileges that allow the admin to decide who they want to edit or create work or even access this page based on the groups they're a member of. Want a higher level view? We integrate easily with Ops Dashboard for visualization. What about ArcGIS Pro? Well, there will be a new implementation of the ArcGIS Pro Workflow Manager extension, allowing similar functionality as the web app, like updating attributes on a job or answering questions, but will also include tools to help reduce manual repetitive actions around finding your work, opening maps, tasks, layouts, and changing versions. So that pro users can focus on analysis and not data preparation. And studies have shown the data editors are twice as productive once Workflow Manager is a part of their organization. At 2.6, the pro extension will stay in the early adopter program and will be released formally at 2.7. What about other web apps? How can they integrate in the workflow? So you've built a custom app or something with Web App Builder, or you're using one by GeoDecisions or GeoCortex, how can it be driven? as part of a larger workflow manager workflow? 
a couple ways. You can use the underlying server architecture and database and integrate Workflow Manager into your app using our APIs. Or you can use this new experience where Workflow Manager will launch the web app as part of the work page driven by the workflow using the new open app step. This experience has a few key advantages. The URL of the app can be fed information from the Workflow Manager database and the app URL is hidden from the user and away from easy editing after the fact. So they can't do things like manually reset the version to default. And keeping it inside the app means no context switching for users. And when they're done, they return to the workflow and start on the next step or another job. And all this covers only a small slice of our future roadmap. We'll still be preparing lots of new functionality, like integration with field apps and step or job scheduling. We just released beta 2 into our early adopter program. 1081 first release is on the horizon and we'll be doing presentations at FedUC and UC and we'll have a floor presence at Dev Summit as well. So get a hold of us there or email or other regular channels and let's see how Workflow Manager can help you be more productive. Thanks for watching.